all them single ladies. Except I'm not single, but you know. Hey guys, it's Jay, and today I'm here with a huge collab video, which was created by Julia over at Julia Sapphire. And I'll leave her link and everyone else in the collab down below so you guys can check out their video as well. But basically, we are talking about the five things that we've learned from books and literature. So without further ado, let us get started. So the first books that I want to talk about are from the Georgia Nicholson and the Tallulah Cassie series by Louise Renison. And these books really taught me how it's okay to be yourself, and it's okay to be awkward, and it's okay to be quirky, because that's who you are. Honestly, I went through my high school trying to be somebody who I wasn't because I wanted to be popular and cool. And it's just, it's not a good look, you know? Like, you should be yourself, and you should be proud of who you are. And these two characters are 100% themselves, and they don't take shit from anybody. And I love that, and so I like to, like, base my life off of them, and I just like to be quirky and awkward, and I think everybody else should just be themselves. The next book I want to talk about is You by Caroline Kepneys. This book is basically about a stalker. This book taught me that social media can be a very scary place, and you should not put all your personal information out onto social media, because... This can happen to you, and stalkers can find you, and they can insert themselves into your life, and you'll have no idea until it's too late. And it's just, I think that everybody needs to read this just so they know that, like, social media is a scary place, and please use it with caution. The next book I want to talk about is Since You've Been Gone by Morgan Matson, and this book taught me to do things that scare you because you never know what is going to happen. The main character in this book, Emily, is very shy and her best friend leaves her this list in the summer of all these things that she needs to do. It's basically a bucket list. A little apprehensive at first and then she decides that she's going to go full force into it and she ends up having a great time. Honestly, I just think that doing something that scares you could lead to something incredible in the end. Like, go bungee jumping, tell the boy you like or the girl you like that you like them. You never know what's gonna happen and honestly, what's the worst thing that can happen? They're not gonna like you back. Oh no, move on. Like, you never know. What's gonna happen until you do it? So, I say jump into life full force, young man slash woman watching this video. My next two books are 13 Reasons Why by Jay Asher and Speak by Lori Hulse Anderson. And these two books, I think, are so important. And they taught me that you never know what someone else is going through unless you talk to them. And you shouldn't assume that everybody's life is just perfect because it's probably not and they're probably going through some shit. So I just think you should just be nice to people at all times and not put people through terrible situations just because you can't. Be nice. That's all I'm saying. Like, it's not that hard. I think that if everybody was just nice to each other, we would live in such a better world. I don't understand why people are mean for no reason. It just, why? My final book is Dreamland by Sarah Dessen and this book taught me that you don't need a man or a woman or a significant other to make you happy. You can do it by yourself. The book follows an abusive relationship and basically the girl thinks that she can't leave because she's so in love with this boy and yada 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 and in the end, spoiler alert, she moves on and she's happy with who she is and she doesn't need the boy anymore to let her know that she is valued and loved. Because, you know, it's not really love when they're abusive to you. I went through a very similar situation as the main character. I had a very emotionally abusive boyfriend in high school and I thought that I couldn't leave him because he was the only thing that made me happy and I thought that I loved him and I thought that he was the best thing in the entire world when really, now that I'm out of that relationship, I see that it was not healthy. I don't need somebody to tell me that I'm important because I know that I'm important. So those were the five things that I've learned from books. Honestly, I could probably keep going on and on and on. Books are such a great way for life lessons to be told. And I just fully appreciate authors and what they do for this community and how they tell their stories. I just love it so much. Let me know down below what a couple of things that you have learned from books are. And, and I will see you all in my next video. Goo.